What's going on, you guys? This is your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Friday, and I intend on doing the exact same thing. What is going on, you guys? So, um, before we get into anything, let me let you guys know that on October the 7th, which is Monday night, the Whether You Like It or Not panel will be returning, and it will be featuring Scotty by Nature TV, giving you the real tea, really be TV. Um, y'all critiques and simply sakina so make sure you guys tune in and we will also have our official special guest in busy blue as well as um schoolboy josiah will be joining us later on um in the season but um it will be us five for the time being so make sure you guys tune in the link is already up and available we got our new um uh, opening and everything josiah has been working his behind off to give us a, a good show so make sure you guys tune in for all of those things um and tomorrow night i will be doing the love and marriage detroit live review okay um i'll be doing it right after t's review tomorrow so make sure you guys tune in, okay? So with that being said, that's pretty much all that we got um, for the church announcement. So we're going to go ahead and get into the mess, y'all. Now we're going to get into Lil Boosie, okay? When I was getting ready to do my video on Cardi B, this was one of the hottest topics that was out right now. Now, as we already know, Lil Boosie is a homophobic Southern rapper from Baton Rouge, okay? Um, he's spoken on Lil Nas X. He's spoken on, he's um, publicly defended people like R. Kelly and Diddy. You know, he's always on the side of wrong most of the time. And I remember there was a post on Facebook, right? Just earlier this week, because I shared the post and I talked about how ignorant he was because, you know, I never, ever take out the time to not call Boosie out on his ignorance because he's just an ignorant individual. And I don't see how anybody likes him and I don't see how anybody agrees with anything that he says. I mean, I'm just being honest. And I know I got a couple of ignorant people that I like, too. But Boots is just a, the just ignorant on top of ignorant. Like, anytime you can defend the actions of R. Kelly and then you tear down people like Lil Nas X who ain't doing anything illegal besides being themselves, that's an issue for me and I don't like it. However... There was a there was a comment when well, there was a post on Facebook that stated Boosie does not allow his daughter to bring his girl bring her girlfriend to his house because he does not want her to contaminate his other children. In so many words, saying that he don't want his daughter to bring her girlfriend to his house because he feels like by her doing that, she's going to set out the other kids and make them gay. Very ignorant thinking, not for it at all. And I re and I actually um, reposted it, and I was like, and if you agree or respect this, you're just as ignorant as he is. I guess my mama should have kicked me out a long time ago because I had been gay and been around my younger brother who also has been around my gay-ass friends. Yet he turned out to be a straight man. Just say y'all homophobic. And that's just the truth. Just say y'all homophobic. Um. Because and then when people call out the homophobia, then y'all want to make it sound like we're doing too much. No, it's not that we're doing too much. It's just that we're calling you for what you are. However, that same daughter that was mentioned in the in, in a Facebook post, she went live today, and she pretty much had enough of Boosie and his disrespect. We're about to go ahead and get into her live, and then after that, I'm gonna give you more commentary on this manner. Let's get into it. Man. Mm. I really don't even know where to start for real because this ain't even my character. I don't really be getting on here and giving y'all what y'all want. But I feel like my daddy want me to give y'all what y'all want and he want me to give him what he want as well. Okay, so he always speaking on my sexuality. The whole world know that. Um, And it it been about two years now that I I be quiet. I keep quiet on the shit. I wouldn't say nothing. You know, I just go with the flow. I did everything in my power to understand that this is my father, regardless. Like I'ma accept him and love him for who he is. So I just seen he recently did an interview with Carisha and he used the word contaminating. And putting my siblings in it with that. If you know me, this shit make me so mad. If you know me, I 
I love and respect my siblings with everything in me. And they respect me and love me with everything in them. When you getting on their nerves, I'm who they call. My siblings, most of my siblings, teenagers. Teenagers, you don't want to let grow up. But okay. Another thing. You keep speaking on me gay. You keep keep doing interviews and I don't say nothing, right? The first ever interview you did, you said you found out I was gay. That I like girls and I had a girlfriend from a picture that went viral. That was a lie. I let that slide. I never addressed it. You found out I was gay a year before that. The incident happened in Jamaica when I was a gay B word. When you called me a gay B word. So if the world really knew all the things and the hurtful things you told me before and I forgave you. You wouldn't even understand. And no matter how you feel. At the end of the day. Nigga, I'm your blood. I am your daughter. And me, I feel like I done been through the most with you. And every time I turn around, it's like you bash me. It's like you bash me. And it's like the whole world can go against you, but I haven't won. Since I've been a little girl, I never would go against you. And I think I'm really fed up. And you get to talking about God. Like, I don't know my God. He talking about God and how I grew up. I know my God from Nita, from my mama. My mama sent me scriptures every morning. My mama put me in a church home. I don't recall not one time I'm ever getting up with you and you taking me to, to the Lord's house. I don't I don't never recall it. I didn't I didn't learn that from you. I learned to hustle from you. I learned to not let nobody play with me from you. Even if it's you, you get what I'm saying? And it's and it's crazy because I never downplayed you. I never said you was a bad father because you not. You gonna make sure your kids straight. You always gonna do that. But emotionally, mentally, you suck. You suck, bro. And I know you suck with that because you rather go to the internet and have a conversation with the internet about your kids before you come to us and have that conversation. He done did about six, seven interviews about me being gay, right? We ain't not never have, he never not have one sit down with me, myself, just him and Aviana, and ask me, why you became that way, fat? What what triggered you? What he is it, it never been that. Every answer, every question y'all asking him, and he giving y'all them answers. If I go ask him that, he wouldn't give me an answer. You know what I'm saying? He don't, he don't, he don't. The things that he do, bro. I would have never thought he would do. And it's like, I came to the point to where yesterday, it just really did it to me. Because 
I'm like, bro, I would not, I would always not say something because I would feel like I'm not finna get on here and disrespect my pops. I'm not finna get on here and go against the grain and go against my daddy. Nobody finna make me do that. But it's like, you making me do that. They not even making me do that. You making me do that, nigga, because you steady speaking on me. You steady. Like, I would respect if you if you just say, just one time, just say, my daughter know how I feel about that. Can we move on to the next question? I can never get that from you. If y'all go look at my interviews, y'all will see. Anytime they try to make it like my daddy don't fuck with me or he this and that, I say he love me regardless. This my pops. I ain't going against him. Y'all ain't going to turn me against him. I always stood on it. And it's like, I feel like you just don't be caring. You just don't care about my feelings no more. You just don't care about my heart. Because you're entitled to feel how you feel. You're entitled to your own opinion. Everybody is. Everybody is. And then another thing, I take a lot of backlash from you. I take a lot of backlash from you, Pops. Like, like a lot of people be scared to work with me. A lot of people don't want to work with me. A lot of opportunities, a lot of opportunities have been missed because you are my father. But that's something I can't change. You know what I'm saying? So I don't go around like I don't fuck with that nigga anyway because he don't fuck with me. I don't do that just so I can get on. You know what I'm saying? And with this music shit, if you broadcast my music the way you broadcast me being gay, maybe I'll be further than what I am. But you so worried about me being gay, you can't even see my, my true talent. The world always talking about, I know your dad is so proud of you. He should be so proud of you and all that. Man, I don't remember the last time he told me that. I don't remember the last time I got that from him. And I'm always grateful. It don't matter what he gives me. It don't ma And I barely even ask him for something. That's why I want, him, want, want my own so bad. That's why I'm hosting the debut. That's why I'm trying to do little features. That's why I'm doing little interviews, because I want my own. I want my own, and he know that. He know that, bro. Like, that don't make no sense. I pay for most of my videos. I pay for most of this. You're not doing nothing. You're not supporting me like you should, and I don't hold that against you. I don't hold that against you. I still love you. I still don't downplay you, talk about you. But... I'm tired of sparing. I'm tired of sparing and I'm tired of just feeling like I'm just letting you play with me because you my pops. I'm tired of feeling like that. And I love you regardless. I'm always going to love you. But it's no way I'm going to keep letting you speak on me and I'm not going to speak on you. It's no way I can't do that. And for the people that, that do support me and do know Ivy, I appreciate you. With everything in my heart, I appreciate y'all for allowing me to just be myself, express myself, express myself through these through this music, through YouTube channels, anything I want to do. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? And it's fucked up because the haters, like that's something I can be used to. Like they don't know me. They 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 can comment on my life and do what they want. That's something that I can't let get me upset. You though, you though, like you know me. You my daddy. You don't you 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 don't continue to to down me. You don't do that. You don't do that, especially if I ain't never do do it to you. I ain't never done that to you. It's certain things that the world would never know that I'll take to my grave for you, and you know that. You know that. It's certain things that I know, certain conversations that you done told me, certain hurtful words you done told me that that half of the people that still respect you wouldn't even respect you, and you know this. You know this, bro, but I'm really kind of disappointed that I had to come on here and do this, and and I let it get to me like this. But, bro, I feel like this is the only way I can feel better. And y'all probably say, why you don't call him? Why you don't go to him? Why he don't call me and come to me? Why he don't do me that? So... With that being said, that'll be my last time speaking on it. As long as it's his last time speaking on it. And it probably won't be. I'll just put this 
I, I, I use my music to vent. And if y'all would have been listening, y'all would have been hearing little things in my music because that's what I use to vent. That's what I use to cope. So in October, I drop a new project. Y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to me and join YouTube channel. I have enjoyed it. And I pray that everybody just keep being them. Be you. Because you, you. And at, at the end of the day, everybody is human. You human, I'm human, and he human too. If he don't know it. So, yeah. Damn. I'm back on the contaminating. Because why would you even say that? Like, like you make it sound like I'm like ill or something. Like, nigga, what? Like, contaminating. If anything, you're contaminating. How about that? You got a whole song about two girls kissing in the back seat. You've been, you been performing it since I was about three, four years old. So what you talking about? You still perform it on stage now. If that ain't contaminating, then what is? That was Boosie's daughter, Ivy, and she was pretty much responding to all of the homophobic remarks that he has made about her publicly and privately, okay? I sat there and I watched that whole live, and I felt her pain. One thing that I'm going to say is this right here. This is the reason why I always keep my foot on Boosie's neck. This is the reason why I'm always calling him out. And I knew that at some point in time that his own daughter would be one of the ones to call him out. How the hell do you have a daughter? That is a part of the LGBT and you disrespect them like that. I just feel like in black households, you can be everything but gay. I'm just being honest. You could be a pedophile. You could uh, you could sell drugs and you're celebrated. You could be a slut of a, of a, of a father. You could as many women as you want to, multiple baby mamas. You could, you're celebrated for that in black households. But when you are gay that is the worst thing in the world why isn't uncle chester that sits there at the dinner table with other people uh, you know fondling the younger kids um not banished from family dinners and family functions and things like that they'll be knowing that the uncle is a pedophile and they'll still let him around why is it that when you know when jamarcus go to jail and he gets out we got to have a whole party to celebrate that but when 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 uh um when Marcus come out and say that he gay, then we all want to throw him away and act like he's not a part of the family because he's gay. Why is it that when somebody sell drugs, you know, we 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 be talking about yeah man, yeah yeah yeah, Ray Ray a savage, bro, blah, blah 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 blah. But if somebody's gay, it's a big deal. The girl was sitting on here, and I'm pretty sure that it's a whole lot more that that girl could have said about her father. And I respect the fact that she took the approach that she did take. She she said her, she spoke her truth, but she was very respectful in which of the truth that she was speaking. Like, she didn't bash him. She didn't curse him out. She didn't do nothing, none of that. She said what she needed to say without getting disrespectful, which is emotionally mature. I could say that. That's very emotionally mature because I remember when I was on Storm on Rose um, page um, earlier this week or whatever, and I made the mention of I hold my grandmother accountable and that's why they don't talk to me. And people were in the comments practically saying that I was up there bragging about disrespecting my grandmother. All I said was that I hold her accountable and I don't care. Like I hold her accountable. I let her know if she's wrong. So people in the comments were pretty much proving me and Storm's point when we were saying what we were saying. I know somebody's going to look at this particular live and think that this girl just disrespected Boosie. There's a way of holding your parents, your grandparents, auntie, uncles, any elder accountable without being disrespectful or hitting below the belt. And her, she is the direct um, example of that. And I love the way that she spoke so eloquently when it came down to her father. And the only thing that I'm going to say about it is that I respect the fact that despite all of the disrespect, 
despite all the things that he had said to her and the things that he said in public about her and whatever, she still chooses to love her father. And nobody can really be upset with her for choosing to love her dad. You know what I mean? That is still her father at the end of the day. So there's nothing wrong with that. But what I will say is this. There is no way I could ever be all right with being around somebody that disrespects my, my entire existence, whether it be a father, a mother, a brother, a sister or not. Because there's a thing called boundaries, and sometimes you have to set those. But that's just me. I don't know how old she is. She may be a, a lot younger than me because your boy is 35 years old. So I'm older. So I, I'm at the place where, okay, I'm going to love you regardless of how you treat me. I'm going to love you regardless of how you make me feel, how much you hurt me. I'm still going to be there and I'm still going to love on you even though you don't love on me. I've done that before. But I'm no longer doing that because my mental health is way more important. And not only is my mental health more important, but also um, my boundaries are more important. I just can't allow someone to keep on coming around me. And I know that they don't like my inner existence because I'm gay. I could never be okay with being around anyone that doesn't like me for my sexuality. You don't have to agree. And that's one thing that I need for people to understand. We always get accused of trying to force the so-called lifestyle down people's throat. My thing is that I don't give a fuck if you don't like the fact that I'm gay. I don't care. People have their beliefs, but I'm a person and being gay is a part of me. It doesn't define me and it's not my one-all be-all. I'm just a person. My sexual preference and who I choose to bring into my bedroom is none of your business. So that should never be the reason why you judge me as a person. The way you judge me should be based off of how I how I come into this world. That's what you should be judging me off of. Not based off of bullshit like who I'm fucking. Why does it matter to you? Respect me as a person. The gay shit don't matter at the end of the day. It just don't matter. So Boosie is exactly what I've been saying that he is. And I'm pretty sure that there's people out there that's still gonna go up for, you know, the stuff that he's pulling and the stuff that he's saying and don't have nothing, you know, don't feel like there's anything wrong with what he's saying and doing because, you know, I'm, I just, mm -mm. you have to be accountable and you have to um, understand it. You know what I mean? I just feel like Boosie ain't shit. And I think that he is the voice for all ignorant ass people who thinks the same way that he does. That's really what it boils down to. And I feel bad for her. I feel bad for Ivy. Um, I, I saw some people say um, that they don't, that she don't even realize the opportunity that she even has to um, to even be his daughter and the opportunities that she'll pull just by being Lil Boosie's daughter. Who the f cares? Like, who cares about that? Like. An uh, opportunity that I get because I'm using my dad's name don't matter to me. It's about the respect and the love of the matter. That's what really matters. And that's all that a person wants is to be loved. We don't give a f about no vanity clout because we got a famous father or semi-famous father. We don't care about no vanity clout. What we care about is the respect and the love from our parents. That's what we care about, regardless of whatever decision that we make. Because at the end of the day, we have had to love our parents despite the, the shit that they probably exposed us to growing up. So I don't understand parents like Boosie. You're not perfect. And the thing is, it's a whole, like she said, it's a whole lot of stuff that she could say about you. Yeah, it is. Because she can easily go and you know, talk about how you set your sons and your nephews up to get head by some grown ass woman. Like, why is everybody calling me? But yeah, like it's it's annoying. And I never I never be down with Boosie. I never like Boosie. Um, I feel like you should um you should accept people for who they are and where they at. You ain't gotta agree with somebody's life, but respect them. And that's all that really matters. So shout out to Ivy for calling him out. With that being said, y'all, this is your boy Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video. And also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever video drops. And if you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok 
will be down below. With that being said, y'all, your boys up out of here, and I will leave you guys with Bando featuring Alanda. Don't sweat. Bye. Don't shake your ass, booty acting up. Don't grab your drinks, let me pass the Dutch. Damn, shorty, bad, looking bad as fuck. Don't sweat it. Ain't no competition, I said it. Don't exist for the beef, motherfucker, I did it. Pull up, knock your coins like Mario. Couldn't slip me do 100 miles of cardio. Damn. You niggas stay faking, you niggas stay hating, you niggas so basic. You felt the wind, so don't test me, nigga. My team, you leave the weapon, Joe Pesci, nigga. The hate send me wins, so I cause them frustration. Hate to see my name, so I give them bit of trade. Bro, running this race on you fucking lanes, spin the block, be both bitch, tuck and chain, bam. Don't sweat, 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 don't sweat,